Good morning, Panthers. We are back with another episode of Panther Pulse News. Allow us to introduce ourselves as your new anchors for this week. My name is Shalina. And my name's AJ. Before we start our morning, let's stand for the land acknowledgement. The land we walk on belongs to the Creator. Earth does not belong to humanity, but rather humanity is a part of the Earth. The land was created to be enjoyed by all living human beings. A principle of a principle reflected in the Dish with One Spoon Covenant, taking only what we need to preserve our earth for future generations, leaving some for others as our sign of respect and caring, and keeping it clean by revitalizing the land to sustain generations to come. All Toronto Catholic District School Board properties are situated on the traditional territories of the Anishinaabek, the Haudenosaunee Confederacy, and the Wendat peoples. We recognize that the land is covered by Treaty 13, is held by the Mississaugas of the Credit First Nation, we also listen to the echoes of their prayers to the Creator and respect the beauty of Mother Earth while striving to learn and draw wisdom from the First Nations, Inuit and Métis traditions. Please remain standing for a national anthem sung by Miss Carreras' class. Let us sign ourselves for prayer. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Heavenly Father, thank you that you are a generous God who gives us so many blessings. Please help us this week to be kind towards others and try our best every day. Be with us as we enter Holy Week and prepare to reflect on your death and resurrection. And we pray that you may shower us with your Easter blessings, amen. Let us pray the Lord's Prayer together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. This week, we have some rain in the forecast, so make sure you bring your raincoats and boots, SMDP. The Toronto Raptors are currently standing at 12th in the Eastern Conference, while Toronto FC is 5th in their conference. The Blue Jays' op home opener against the Seattle Mariners is in about two weeks, on April 8th, so make sure to tune in and cheer them on. Hey Shalina, what do we have going on on school this week? Good question, AJ. Tomorrow is grad picks and also class pictures, so put on that clean uniform, brush your teeth, and come looking your best. Cooking Club also begins tomorrow after school. We have our virtual assembly Thursday afternoon where we will also have a special Stations of the Cross presentation by some of our Panthers. And Friday is Good Friday, so there is no school. Sounds like a great week. I can't wait. Thanks, Shalina. Now for our field anchor, Rayanne, for a sports update. Now we're here for a sports update. I'm here with Mr. England, our basketball coach. We are so happy and excited that both boys and girls basketball teams are city champions. Can you tell us a little about the night, how the night went on Friday? Um, so it started with the boys. Uh, they played um, St. Malachi, and we've played them a couple times this year. They're actually the only team that, that has beat us once this year. Um, so it started off a little shaky. You know, Malachi was hitting their shots, and everything was going their way, but you know, we were still confident that the boys could come back and still win the game. And they just kept playing their game, kept driving to the basket, um, playing good defense, and uh, came out victorious. 
And then after that, the girls went up um, against Holy Trinity. And, uh, you know, it was, it was tough. You know, they had some good girls on their team, but our girls kind of led the way more or less the whole game and, and got the job done. Why do you think this is such a big deal for our school? Well, it's a big deal because, I mean, both the boys and girls won the city championship. So we have the best boys and girls basketball programs out of the whole of the TCDSB, out of whole Toronto. So that's a huge deal um, that they were able to get that done in the same year. Um, so, yeah, it's a huge deal. Junior basketball has started soon. What are your hopes? Um, well, I mean, my hopes is, I mean, last year, the boys junior basketball team won the city championships. So we're hoping, you know, to get somewhere close to that. Uh, but it's more of a rebuild. What we're doing is we're rebuilding for our intermediate teams in the next couple of years. Uh, the girls junior team should be pretty competitive. Um, and, but it's more so just a building up these players so that when it's time for intermediate, we, we kind of know what we're doing. Thanks, Coach Anglin, and congratulations again on the win. Thank you. Thank you. I'm here today with Mr. Patel and Madame Gonzalez, new coaches for the year. What sport, what sport are you coaching and how is it going? So this year, Ms. Gonzalez and I are undertaking coaching uh, badminton. We've started up intermediate badminton for our school. It's a school first, and we're going to see how it goes. Uh, so far, we had our last practice last, last week, and it went really well. Um, the students are very keen to try new things, and I know whatever the outcome is, we're going to be proud of how they do for the tournament, which is on April the 17th at Sacred Heart School. So we are in a pool with three other schools. Uh, it's going to be Sacred Heart, Cardinal Leger, St. Agatha, and of course ourselves. So we're hoping to do uh, as well as we possibly can. Thank you. Awesome. Thanks for the update, coaches. And go Panthers. You're welcome. Now to Ananya for a special interview. As you all know, March is Women's History Month, a time when we celebrate all the accomplishments of women all around the world, as well as remember the journey it took to get here. With me today, we have Mrs. Kimberly Dixon, the Superintendent of Mathematics at our school board. He is really paving the way for change in our schools. Welcome to the show, Mrs. Dixon. Thank you for having me. So what exactly is your role at TCDSB? So I am the superintendent of mathematics curriculum and innovation. It's a newly created role by the ministry. So I work with all of our elementary and secondary schools in the board. So that's 200 schools, um, it, making sure that they are uh, putting in place uh, strategies and approaches for positive math classrooms. Mm -hmm. that's, very, that's so cool. <laughs> Can you describe your journey to becoming a leader in our school board? Um, for sure. So I was a teacher um, and I taught at three different elementary schools before I became um, a mathematics coach. So now math coaches and math facilitators are some of the staff that are on my team in the math department. After I was a math coach and I'd had my children, um, I decided to go into administration. So I was a vice principal at two schools, two elementary schools, and then I became a principal at two um, elementary schools before becoming the superintendent for area six. So I had 24 schools downtown that I worked with the principals to ensure positive school climate and working with the staff and parents um, within those downtown schools. And just in September, I became the superintendent of mathematics. Why do you think it's important for girls and young women to, st to strive for success in education and become leaders? Well, you know, to me, that's just a natural thing. I have a daughter and I always say to her, education is so important. And I always tell her that she can do anything. And I think it's important that as young women, um, we see women like ourselves out in the workforce so that we understand that we can do anything. Um, and education is that pathway, is how I believe. Um, it's the pathway to ensuring success and um, a positive work-life balance when we get older. Nice. And lastly, what advice would you give girls at St. Martin de Porres who might want to pursue a career like yours? 
Ooh, I hope they do. We need young girls in education. Um, we we need them in science. We need them in French. We need them in mathematics, of course. Um, so I would say absolutely. If you're passionate about working with young people, it's a wonderful career. I've enjoyed it for the last two decades, and uh, there's lots of room and opportunities for girls in education. Thanks for your answers, Mr. Dixon. Before we let you go, we have some rapid fire questions for you. Are you ready? <laughs> oh, I think so. <laughs> okay. Coffee or tea? Ooh, currently it's tea. Nice. <laughs> Beyonce or Rihanna? Ooh, Beyonce. Summer or winter? Summer all the way. Roller coasters or Ferris wheel? Neither. Okay, Ferris wheel. <laughs> <laughs> skydiving or bungee jumping? Wow, skydiving. Cookies or brownies? Ooh, cookies. Shopping online or shopping in person? All shopping. <laughs> <laughs> give up salt forever or give up sugar forever? Give up salt forever. Be able to play every instrument or master every sport? Ooh, master every sport. Spend one day with Oprah Winfrey or with Michelle Obama? Oh. Okay, Oprah. <laughs> <laughs> when you're eating fries, ketchup on the side or on top? On top. Each individual fry, one by one. Mm -hmm. And lastly, do you think pineapple beat goes on pizza? I love pineapple on pizza. <laughs> Thanks for joining us this episode of Panther Pulse, Mr. Dixon. It was so nice to meet you. Thank you for having me. It was nice meeting you too. Now it's time for a riddle. Ready, Shalina? Ready. What has 13 hearts but no lungs or a stomach? I don't know. What? A deck of cards. Ooh, that's a good one. Nata Nanya for Community Corner. Hi, who am I here with? Ania. Who's a woman who inspires you and why? My grandma, because she cooks for me and she taught me how to cook. Okay, thank you. Who am I here with? Faith. Who's a woman who inspires you and why? Um, my sister, because um, she's always been there for me and um, she's so beautiful and nice. Thank you. Who am I here with? Tristan. Who's a woman who inspires you and why? My mom inspires me because she She's the one that's been taking care of me my entire life. Okay, thank you. Hey, who am I here with? Joanne. Who's the woman who inspires you and why? My mom, because she's she brought me up this world and world and like she's the reason why I'm here and why I play basketball with the sport. Okay, thank you. Hi, hey, who am I here with? Kalia. Who's the woman who inspires you? My mom, because she's smarter than my sister. Okay, thank you. Hi, who am I here with? Marlea. Who is the woman who inspires you and why? My sister, because she's really smart and she cooks for me and she cleans. Okay, thank you. Hi. Hi, who am I here with? Mr. McAuliffe. Who is the woman who inspires you and why? That's an easy question. It's my wife. She's a very kind, caring, hardworking, and fun and loving person to be with. Also, my daughter. And soon to be second daughter, but um, there's a little spoiler for you guys today. And I'll also give a quick shout out to the grade eight girls. Now for an update about our speech competition. As you may heard, four students here at SMDP were chosen to send their speeches to the school board for a chance to participate in the equity speech contest. And out of those four people, one was selected by the board, Jaden Jay from grade four in Miss News class. Jaden ended up winning first place in the junior division for a cash prize of $100. Congratulations, Jaden. Let's play a short clip of Jaden reciting his speech on bullying. We, as bystanders, must step in and support those being bullied. To conclude, all bullies need to know that it's okay if someone's different, because being different from others is what makes everyone unique. And being unique is someone's true identity. Bullies destroy that unique identity of someone. Let's try to be more like Jesus, who was always kind and compassionate to everyone. He helped everyone, those who were in need. Let's not become bullies 
or support bullying. Instead, let's foster a world filled with companionship and support and make it a better place to live where there are millions of buddies, but no bullies. And I'm going to acknowledge our first place winner for junior division was Jaden. So applause for Jaden. Today I'm here with Janae, Josefina, and Jaden. who are going to talk to us about the PALS program. So what is the PALS program? PALS stands for Playground Activity Leaders in School. Our motto is, there's always room for one more. We are a group of leaders facilitating games and activities for children in grade one to four. Cool, so when does it run? It will run every day during lunch recess. And if you ever need a friend to play with or a fun game, come find us in our college penny. The more the merrier. So how long will it be running? PALS will be running until the end of the year year with new games each week we hope you can participate and join us in making sure that no one is left alone and everyone has a path sounds awesome thanks for being on the show today now let's head to Ryan for a camp olympia update i'm here today with miss jenkins mr gregor and Madame james for a camp olympia update hello hi hello <laughs> so what exactly is camp o so Camp Olympia is an overnight trip for grades six, sevens, and eights, uh, where they go to Huntsville and they learn about student leadership opportunities, uh, how to be a good leader, how to be a good Catholic leader, and how to affect positive change in their school community uh, when they come back from their trip. And so going up there, they learn uh, through lots of different guest speakers. They learn through different teachers, different games, meeting new people. Um, it's just a really great way to build community and to build Catholic leadership in our school. Cool. So when are you going to Campo? We are going May 8th to 10th, so that's a Wednesday to Friday. So it's about a little over a month away, um, but we're starting preparations pretty much as soon as possible. So all the things that I think Ms. Jenkins will talk about soon, we're going to be starting to prepare really soon. What are, what are some of the things you have to prepare? And is there a theme? Well, we're actually going to keep the theme secret for now, but um, there are many things we have to prepare. We have to prepare a banner that um, the students will design and paint. If you check out the hallway downstairs, you'll see a previous banner that we've done. We are going to prepare, the students will prepare um, a lip sync dance well, where they will choreograph a dance and lip sync um, to the songs, to the music. We will be pre preparing something called Warm Fuzzies, um, which is kind of like a tiny little mailbox where we send kind messages to each other, a video about student leadership, and cheer. a cheer. Oh my goodness, we are going to be making a cheer to basically celebrate our school because there will be probably 10 other schools from our school board that will be at camp with us as well. So we'll be having some friendly competition uh, between all of the schools and the cheer will help us do that. Did I mention the video? Great. Those are all the things we're preparing. <laughs> awesome. We can't wait to check back next month to see how preparations are going. Thank you for your time. Now back to the news desk. Hey, AJ, did you know that this week is Holy Week? You're right, it is. But what is Holy Week? Holy Week is the week between Palm Sunday and Easter, where we remember Jesus' final days and his crucifixion on the cross. What do we do during Holy Week? During Holy Week, many Christians celebrate with things like attending church services and processions and going to Mass. And some people also celebrate by renouncing Jesus' life and his crucifixion. And that, must, and that must be why Holy Week is the most important week in the Christian calendar. Thanks for that, Shalina. No problem. We have now reached the end of Episode 4. And we hope that you have enjoyed this episode. And we wish that you have a good week and a very happy Easter. Quote of the day is, if you're not learning, you're not reaching your full potential. I'm Shalina. And I'm AJ. We'll see you next time right here on Panther, Panther Pulse. Pulse. Who's a woman who inspires you and why? I don't have any. <laughs> ah, so cold! We do that moment. <laughs> hey, with Jelani. Thank you that you are generous. Thank you. You are...
be the generous God who gives us. <laughs> it will run every day during one during lunch recess. And we, nah. <laughs> I will be running until the end of the... Hi, who am I here with? Hi, I'm, which name do you want me to go with? I'll also give a quick shout out to the grade 8 girls.